blessed the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For peace from high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Holy Father, Francis Popo Brom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William for God, loving Bishop Milan, for the Venerable Presbyter, the Diacon in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For a favorable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for those who travel by sea or on land, for the sick that suffer in the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, rest, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, that Theotokos and the Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. O Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above understanding, merciful without limit, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and this holy church of master, and show us in those who pray with us riches your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, your glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever.
Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, peace be to all of wisdom, be attentive. Make vows to the Lord your God, to the Lord your God, and fulfill them, and fulfill them. Give the Lord your sons of God. <coughs> Give the Lord glory and power. Make vows to the Lord your God, to the Lord your God, and fulfill them, and fulfill them. Wisdom. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, it is Christ who is our peace and who made the two of us one by breaking down the barrier of hostility that kept us apart. In his own flesh, he abolished the law with his commands and precepts 
to create in himself one new man for us, who had been two, and to make peace, reconciling both of us to God in one body through his cross, which put that enmity to death. He came and announced the good news of peace to you who are far off and to those who were near. Through him, we have both access in one spirit to the Father. This means that you are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building which rises on the foundation of the apostles with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you are being built into this temple to become a dwelling place for God in the Spirit. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. to your name, O Most High. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. To proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory. Let us be attentive. At that time, a lawyer stood up to pose this problem to Jesus. Teacher, what must I do to inherit everlasting life? Jesus answered him what is written in the law. How do you read it? The lawyer replied, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, You have answered correctly. Do this and you shall live. But because the lawyer wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, There was a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho who fell prey to robbers. They stripped him, beat him, and then went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. He saw him, but continued on. Likewise, there was a Levite, who came the same way, he saw him and went on. But the Samaritan who was journeying alone came on him and was moved to pity at the sight. He approached him and dressed his wounds, pouring in oil and wine. He then hoisted him on his own beast and brought him to an inn where he cared for him. The next day he took out two silver pieces 
and gave them to the innkeeper with the request, look after him, and if there is any further expense, I will repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the man who fell in with the robbers? The answer came, the one who treated him with compassion. Jesus said to the lawyer, then go and do the same. Glory to Jesus Christ. One man in my previous parish, he told me that he loves this parable we just heard because he said it feels good to hear that. And he said this because this man was a man of good heart and he was helping many. And for sure, he could feel hope for himself, for his eternal life, when he could compare himself that he is following example of the Samaritan from the Gospel. But we can somehow feel that Gospel is always a little bit deeper than this touch of our feelings. The gospel always teaches us something what can lead us a little bit to deeper. This man was right, and well, we have to, I have to acknowledge, everybody has to acknowledge his good deeds. But still, we are in danger that we can see our good deeds which we do and which makes us feel good from wrong reason on wrong way. Because it is in our nature to do good things. Because if we are doing good thing, the fruit of this is good feeling. And it is right then, then that we do good things, good deeds. But danger is in this that we start to choose what we are going to do. Many times we need this feeling, so we choose what we are going to do and we put the limits. I do this, 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 because this makes me happy. But this is not the law. God tries to teach us. Because when he teach about law, it is always in the shape of cross. True love, it's not about only good feelings, which are good and they come. But mostly, true love is connected with cross. Love brings pain. Because love, true love, is something when we are denying ourselves for the service to the others, for the service of God. And this is what we somehow forgot in this our culture, that if God calls us to love, he gives us example of his own son, son Jesus Christ. 
and we can see what love means in God's eyes. If we try to love, it doesn't mean that we are choosing those things which we are sure it brings like those of some kind of good feeling for the day for me. Love is true when it is connected with real sacrifice. And, well, it is difficult to somehow to guard it, to take it. But, but we, we can re realize and we can recognize those moments when we refuse many opportunities to help, to serve, because we preferred our own comfortable life, that we preferred our plans, our goals we want to reach. Maybe we refused these opportunities because we were on our way somewhere and we didn't want to lose time with those things or to give up these our goals we set up for ourselves. We can find those things in our life, those moments, and those are moments which we did, in which we didn't allow. Very nice explanation or practice, how to practice our love towards God and towards our neighbor, gave uh, Chiara Lubik. She is founder of movement in the Catholic Church, his name Focolare. And she was talking about a lot of, about love, how to love. But one principle on one exercise is very powerful and helps. She says, if you want to practice love, so after your morning prayers, make decision that you are ready, really die for God and for your neighbor today that you are really prepared to die as an expression of our love to God and to neighbors. And she says, you have to think about this. It's not just formula you say. You have to be aware that God can ask your life that day for that. And once you are accepting this, this, your offer, this, your sacrifice, then nothing which comes during the day will not be difficult. Giving your plans, giving up your plans, changing your plans, changing your intentions, changing, exchange, or if you, giving up your comfortable things because of service, it will be easier for you because you will be ready to give whole life. And everything less will be easy for you. Well, this is good practice. And we should do this. We should do this and to add to our prayers morning that Yes, O oh Lord, today I want to love you from all my heart, my, from my mind, with all my strength. And I want to love my neighbor. And I want to love so much that I am willing to offer in even my own life for that love. And then to go to the day with open eyes and see opportunities which might be difficult, which might be painful, which might think that all my day will be turned upside down and all my plans will be canceled. But I will love through this pain. It will be not many times connected with good feelings, 
Because love, it is not really about feelings. It is about doing right thing, even if it is connected with sacrifice and some dose of pain. So let's try to put this exercise, which is very powerful exercise to our life. And not only morning and remind ourselves, even in those moments when we are facing some kind of opportunity to love, and it is connected with difficulties for us, we can exercise this practice at that moment and say, I am ready to give my love, uh, to my, uh, I am give, ready to give my life for, because of love. This difficulty is nothing in comparison with those in life. Well, there is a need to say more about this, but if we start to practice that, we will not make mistakes because God's grace will help us to recognize those moments and to accept our limitations. But without that practice, we will live and we will love only on surface somewhere. Our love will not, will not go deeper, will not be perfect, will not be that love which brings us or leads us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us all say with our soul and with our mind, let us say, uh, Lord, <coughs> Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O oh God, according to your great mercy. We pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Again, we pray for Holy Father Francis Popo Roman, for Most Reverend Metropolitan William for God, loving Bishop Milan, for those who serve and have served in His Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people present who have your great abundant mercy for those who have mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. merciful loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
God, remember his kingdom, our Holy Father, Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God, Lamy Bishop Milan, the entire priestly diaconal monastic order, our government and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this Holy Church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever. Precious gifts placed before us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Grant His mercy, only begotten Son, with me, a blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and the divine. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive.
just and right, last and you all, let us be attentive to all for the Holy and for in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your oh, let us lift up our hearts. We Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you and replace your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever same, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being again, raised us up when we had fallen, left nothing undone. And you brought us to heaven and give us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know. For the manifest and the benefits bestowed on us, we also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though the same be few thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring have done their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn of... So cry out with these blessed powers, loving kindness, and say, Holy are you, and all holy you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, rather than he surrendered himself. For the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink, O this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, the saving command, and all this come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sin to right hand, the second coming glory. Offer you your own from your own, always and everywhere.
or over the offer to the spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and treat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us. And make this bread their precious body, O Christ, and that which is in this choice the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. Therefore, those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, in our judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departing faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for your spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially from most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos, the ever blessed, immaculate, and the mother of our God. More On the first Lord, remember, Holy Father, Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God, loving Bishop Milan, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And grant that with one voice, one heart, we may glorify and praise your most honored, magnificent name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Their precious gifts offered the consecrated our God who loves us all, may receive in his holy heavenly mystical there is Romo spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the good of all the past that lies ahead according to the need of each. 
Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel. Cure those who are sick of physical souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, and loving kindness, only begotten Son, with me are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Oh, let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God, and has revealed himself to us. Praise the Lord.
Peter. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance.
bless is our God always, now and ever, and forever. Again, arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating all the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord. <coughs> For you are our sanctification, we give glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. <coughs> Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Praise are the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them, return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace, your world, to your churches, the priests, of our government, and to your people. For all generous given and ever perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanks, and worship to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead of mercy on us and save us, through the praise of his most pure mother and of the holy, glorious, illustrious apostles, our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy father and the closet patron of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to you forever. Thank you for beautiful liturgy. Thank you for your prayer.